Here's your neighborhood moment, a chance to find out about events, activities, and what's happening in your area. Hello, I'm Penny Smith from the South Tacoma Neighborhood Council. Welcome to our neighborhood moment. With me is Venus Durgan, who is a member of the South Tacoma Neighborhood Council. Hello, Penny. Our boundaries are from SR 16 to South 80th Street, uh, from I-5 to uh, Orchard Lakewood Drive. We have about seven and a half miles, square miles of land and 25,000 residents. Uh, the map of South Tacoma has neighborhood names like Arlington and Manitou. Uh, just recently, the um, Tacoma Mall sub-area plan finalized their naming of that little area. So that's new to us. You'll also see our neighborhood council booth with our sign. We attend many events. And then there's the community council, which we also belong to, and we represent all of the neighborhood councils. There's eight of them. The Oakland Madrona area is being worked on, has a beautiful uh, permeable streets and sidewalks and sewers, and they're getting a much needed renovation that they um, were in need of. So right now I'd like to introduce Venus and have her talk about the police dinner that uh, she helped work on in December. Hi, Penny. Um, I also wanted to uh, include that I'm also the steward of the South 66th Street Trestle before I talk about the T Tacoma dinner. Um, I've been a steward of the Trestle area for about seven years, and we've currently partnered with Sound Transit in regards to um, keeping up the landscaping and also the Trestle artwork. And also this year, I also um, wanted to speak in regards to our 10th year of our 10th annual Tacoma Police Department dinner. Um, this was held this year at the Tacoma Police Department headquarters. This was our second year at the headquarters. Um, it's, it's a dinner that we provide on Christmas Day to all our Tacoma police officers. Um, we have a group of volunteers who's who is coordinated by Donna Buck, who is our coordinator. Um, she works with AMBETS, local businesses, and monetary uh, people who provide monetary donations to provide dinner to our police officers who work on Christmas Day. We've also expanded it to also include neighboring police departments. We provide deliveries to neighboring police departments now. Um, it grew um, so fast over the 10 years that Chief Ramsdell uh, decided to allow us to to serve the dinner at the headquarters. It was previously at our three sector substation. Um, this is our second year at the Tacoma Police Department headquarters, our third year for deliveries. Um, we served 175 police officers this year. This includes the deliveries to the neighboring um, police departments of Ruston, Fircrest, University Place, Lakewood, Stellicum, and DuPont. We included the Fife Police Department this year. And we also decided to include the two emergency vets in South Tacoma that are open on Christmas Day, which is Summit Veterinary Clinic and the um, Blue Pearl uh, uh, Veterinary Clinic in um, South Tacoma. We have a group of volunteers um, who provide dinner from 12 p.m. until 10 p.m. on Christmas Day. So we cover all three police um, officer shifts. Um, we um, also um, provided um, dinner and, and beverages. It was a ham and turkey dinner with all of the, the side dishes. And I just want to thank, um, I have a couple of thank yous out there besides Donna Buck who has coordinated this. Um, Officer Benjamin, Lieutenant Roberts, and Chief Ramsdell and the Tacoma Police Department for allowing us to provide them dinner for um, a service on Christmas Day. Okay, Venus, now can you uh, tell us how people can um, volunteer or help in the Christmas dinner in the future? So if, if there are um, citizens out there who want to provide monetary food or volunteer, um, they can contact the South Tacoma Neighborhood Council. Um, I will get them directed to Donna Buck, our coordinator, for any donations, monetary food, or volunteering that they want to do for our future dinners. and. I just want to say that we are thankful to our police and first responders who work on Christmas Day and throughout the year. 
Thank you very much. Okay, uh, we started off with Okla Madrona as the top, the northern end of South Tacoma Neighborhood Council. We're gonna, and we passed through Manitou where Venus uh, volunteers and is a steward. We're going straight over to 80th Street to the stormwater holding facility. And um, the, through the Ecology Department and Environmental Services, they built a walking path around that stormwater pond and they named it after Skip Vaughn. They called it the Skip Vaughn Legacy Trail. Uh, honoring Skip for the work he has done throughout the years in South Tacoma. Uh, so then we'll skip over a block to the uh, Oak Tree Park. Uh, that's at 78th and Pine. That's the south end of Oak Tree Park. And then further over, we're going to go clear over to South Tacoma Way to where the um, Flume Line Trail starts. And so it parallels the Oak Tree Park uh, down to 74th. Um, you can enter the north, the um, the end of Oak Tree Park um, at 74th and Cedar. So at Oak Tree Park, we have Habitat Steward Albert. On our work days are always the third Saturday of the month, and volunteers are always welcome from 9 to 12. We have a picture of an owl that sat up there and watched us work. We have an innovative grant from 2017 uh, for birdhouses, and Mount Tahoma students built them and painted them. And um, then there's an artist that works with Tacoma, and uh, he installed them. So there's 32. And so that's part of the Discover South Tacoma for you to come and visit Oak Tree Park. So hurrying down along the trail at um, Clement and 62nd is the uh, water pump station. And Art, uh, um, Mr. Wigman um, painted on those windows. So following down the Flume Trail, we're gonna skip over to Oak Tree Park, um, from Oak Tree Park to Wapato Hills Park. And um, there we, we find that um, we have a park, uh, it's a Skip and Laura Vaughn Park, and then the 60 acres of um, Oak Tree Wildlife Habitat Park. And across from that, uh, we have uh, the community garden. And um, if anybody's interested in working on community gardens, that's available. Um, you need to contact the Harvest Pierce County. And then there's another community garden at 40th and Cedar. That's a community garden and they have open spaces. The things that we have at Wapato Hills Park is that I accidentally came upon a, the installers of a new toy there for, and they were installing and practicing it. And um, I myself uh, renovated uh, the traffic circle right at the corner of 64th and Wapato. We do a lot of invasive removal of scotch broom, and that's kind of my, my thing, and um, along with other volunteers. Uh, Earth Corps is the Habitat Stewards for Wapato Hills Park. You can contact them, earthcorps.org. Um, so um, we're going to zing over and go past the, uh, and thank the car dealerships. They're in the South Tacoma Neighborhood Council area and the South Tacoma Business District. Um, and. Um, we thank you for uh, having us and being able to share all of the um, pictures and information. Penny, I think you should show the. Okay. The. Um, this is the most recent innovative grant that you just completed. This is the most in most recent innovative grant. We're going to put these on uh, with the permission of the environmental services. Put them on the debris and the uh, yard waste and the. Um, cans that we put out in front of our house, but they must be removed uh, the day of. The, the cans shouldn't be left out in the street. So I thank you for that. And as the neighborhood councils meet together as a group, we support one another. We would like to support the North End that they need a community center to Cushman um, substation. They're working to save it and we want to be a part of that. Thank you, Penny. And if any South Tacoma resident would like to get involved as well, Please join one of our meetings at the Star Center on the third Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. Also contact us with email or on our Facebook page. For the South Tacoma Neighborhood Moment, I'm Penny Smith. Thanks for watching us. For more information on what's going on in your neighborhood, log on to the city's website, cityoftacoma.org slash neighborhood councils.